departure runway 27 left in use, landing and departing runway 27 left and 27 right. Closely space parallel runway operations in effect, verify correct runway alignment. Do not overshoot final. All IFR departures contact ground control on 121.9 for clearance. Advice. All right, see here it is. And we need 891 today. Lightweight, cool temps, not a lot of fuel. All right, accept that. It's done. That's done. All one and two are off. Cast matches. No strobe light on. Bravo Sierra, Astro Park, Texas. That push button starter is giving me yeah, fits. Two seven left, Delta. Hold short of Delta, mind you. Two seven left, Delta, short. Um, of it's Delta. going. The plane's going in for a hundred hour right after this flight or tomorrow. The flight time on this is 100 hours on the button. Um, you got like a 10 hour leeway on that. The maintenance goes not off the Hobbs time, but off the flight time. Um, I told him, I'm like, yeah, that thing's giving me fits. Just doesn't want to um, go sometimes. I don't know if it's the actual button or what, but yeah, it's funky. I'm sure they'll fix it. Okay, I did all that. Fuel on the ground, procedure two cross your money. Oil temp is really cool right now, so we'll wait a minute before we taxi out here. That's all good. Cap's pin is out. So, uh, this is an interesting little flight today. While this is warming up, I'll give you a kind of a brief here. Um, going down to central. Lower central Ohio, I guess it's more central. Uh, Lancaster, the, it's actually Fairfield County, because my wife and I are going to go uh, do some hiking today in Hocking Hills. Apparently it's pretty nice. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a little warm, but a uh, really nice day. So the question I have here, let me start recording my screen so you can see it. Uh, the question is, well, <laughs> the first thing that's funny is, my wife, I live about 30 to 35 minutes from airport, which is Pontiac, and I've got another little airport that's really close to my house. It's just a little GA airport. It's 9 Golf 2 for reference. So a lot of times, you know, my wife is like, oh, got to drive down, do the pre-flight and all that stuff. So that airport's like not even 10 minutes from my house. So a lot of times what I'll do is, I'll do my pre-flight, and I go jump over there and pick her up. Or if we have passengers, I pick her up. It's, It doesn't bother me any. It gives me, it actually makes me, because if you know, like flying with passengers, one thing you don't want to do is rush through things because, you know, you get people that are waiting for you or whatever. So I don't mind taking my time, getting here early, doing all my stuff. So in this flight plan, the only thing that's kind of of note is, obviously, we got the Detroit Bravo I kind of made a path that goes around it, skirts it, and over to this VOR and skirts the the uh, Columbus airspace as well. I've been on the fence on whether or not to do this VFR or IFR. Um, I generally, like on any cross country, just like to do IFR, but on nice days, I'm kind of in between. And then I'm also, you know, this route really doesn't add any time. It added, you know, to go around those airspaces only added, you know, five minutes if that. But I'm half tempted just to file direct and see what they give me. Uh, a lot of times if I filed, I would file this, and then, um, you know, they should accept that route. Detroit is landing to the south, so uh, arrivals shouldn't be an issue. If I cut through here, I mean, departures are going to be way above me quick. Um, so... Uh, it'll be a game time decision. I'm gonna hop over. I'm gonna hop over to Nine Golf Two, which is only you know 15 miles away. Direct. Climb in 3,000. Expect 6,000. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 132.35. Squawk 415. I'm gonna get out of her way here for a second. Grand Rapids says radar back three zero five. Maintain 3,600. 132.35. So yeah, so out of here, I'm just going to go VFR to the northwest and just cut over there and pick her up. And then when I'm on the ground waiting for her, she should be there in about 30 minutes. Um, I'll decide what I want to do as far as um, if I want to file or not. 
I'm half tempted to file to see what route they give me through the airspace because I, I look at the routes on ForeFlight, it'll tell you what a suggested route is. Those burn me almost every time. Every time I try to file that, they give me something different. Um, so I'm trying to be prudent. And I think the I think the route that I've planned is probably the best route. But um, at the same time, if I file direct, you know, they might give me a little bit of a shortcut. I'm just actually just curious what route they'll give me. Um, it might They might accept direct and then just give me some radar vectors to start with. So I think I'll actually do that. Um, the only thing that was interesting in the flight plan and that I did that was um, concerning, it, I clicked on it and said, all runways are closed by NOTAM. I was reading the NOTAMs and I'm like, but it was a little cryptic because it said east 800 feet. And so I was, and I looked on flight aware and, and traffic was landing on there. So I'm like, obviously the, the, it's not closed. So I, I just gave him a call and I said, hey, What's the deal? He's like, yeah, the note was wrong. I'm like, oh, cool. All right, good. He's like, they just, they shortened that runway by 800 feet, which is kind of how the note read, but I wanted to be sure. So nine or two, Bravo a call is always good. Runway two, seven All right, I'm going to rip through this pre-flight, and, um, you know, you guys have seen it a bunch of times, so there's really no reason to do anything. Actually, all my comms are set up. We've got Sierra. Uh, flaps are good. Comms and navs. ATIS, I've got that. Altimeter was set. Uh, flight controls are free and correct. Nothing feels grippy. Pontiac Ground, Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie. We're at Maven. We've got Sierra. Uh, we'll be a VFR northbound departure. Sierra 524, Charlie, Charlie, Pontiac Ground, runway 27 left, taxi via Charlie. 27 left via Charlie, 524, Charlie, Charlie. Just a northwest, but I'll tell that to the tower. Start monitoring them. All right, so good little day cross country. Should be a nice uneventful flight guide. I don't want to say that because that's when stuff goes sideways. I'm in 351 Delta Charlie. Extend your downwind. I'll call your base and expect runway 27 left for clearance. Extend downwind. You'll call my base uh, 27 left 351 Delta Charlie. Pontiac Tower, Sears 524 Charlie. Charlie, holding short of 27 left. We're VFR northwest bound. Sears 524 Charlie. Charlie, hold there, please. Uh, let Leave room for the RV and hold short of... Uh, Runway 27 left. All right, we'll hold short uh, for the RV and hold short 27 left, 524 Charlie Charlie. RV 2 Delta Whiskey, runway 27 left, line up and wait. Traffic is a diamond on the downwind. Line up and wait 27 left, 2 2 Delta Whiskey. Cool little RV there. RV two Delta Whiskey fly runway heading runway two seven left clear to off. Runway heading clear to go to two, two, two Delta Whiskey. Sears four Charlie Charlie uh, say again your direction departure. Northwest. Sears four Charlie Charlie runway two seven left line up and wait traffic to Sears on the down a uh, diamond on the down one. All right line up on the wait two seven left five two four Charlie Charlie. I'm in uh, 351 Delta Charlie, turn base, continue inbound, expect clearance on about a mile final. Base, continue inbound, and expect clearance, 351 Delta Charlie. Sears 4 Charlie Charlie, the traffic on departures in RV, they're going to be uh, direct to Grand Rapids, climbing to 6,000. On course in northwest, approved runway 27 left, cliff takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27 left, on course proof, 524, Charlie, Charlie. All right. Part of the reasons I do these videos, too, is to critique myself, and I noticed I've been getting lazy on my Charlie. rudder down when I'll call your because base. of the yaw damper in this plane. All right, everything looks good there. Diamond 351, Delta Charlie. Excuse. Runway 27 left, clear to land. 27 left, clear to land, 351, Delta Charlie. So I'm going to make sure that I... 
really mash this rudder, keep it in coordinated flight, because the other day I took off and that RV2 whiskey delta contact ball was all control. the way over. And this thing wants to climb. 1 delta 200 Charlie, feet. Number two following the diamond passing off your left. All right, out of runway, 90 knots. Okay, number flaps two, up. I'll report the diamond. Uh, I have the diamond in sight. 141 delta Charlie. Helicopter 141 Delta Charlie Roger. There's 400 two, feet. Traffic runway 27 left. Clear for the option. Okay, member two, follow the traffic. Uh, Caps is available. 27 left. Clear for the option. 141 Delta Charlie. See, yaw damper's on, but even when the yaw damper's on, it's having a little bit of a hard time with all that, all that turning bias here. All right, let's just go up to 2,500 and cruise over here. Got that traffic over there, headed to Grand Rapids. Keep that right at the top of the green arc. And it is smooth today. Whew. Like butter. We'll rip over here real quick. Not bad. It's weird it showed a little tail in there. I guess I see it on the sock now too. Winds were calm at Pontiac. But I mean it was not much. This thing is getting in my way and being annoying. Part of it's because that camera is right there. Linden traffic, Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie, we're cleared. The active taxiing back to the ramp, Linden. This is a great little airport here. This is where I really wanted to keep my plane, but um, they don't have a dedicated hangar. I wasn't too keen on putting a new plane in a little shared hangar. Um, and Pontiac just has way more services. Like, I've got my own maintenance guy there, or there's a couple of maintenance people where I keep it. It's a real top-notch, um, you know, they keep all my stuff, my charts up to date. They're always, you know, got instructors there. It's a nice, really, really nice um, setup. And I can just pop over here to pick up passengers or whatever, get some fuel, although it's not much cheaper fuel here. I think next week I'm going to do a video on like cheap fuel run. Go find the cheapest fuel um, within, you know, 100 miles or whatever and go do that. It might be fun. These little airports are great though. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to shut this down. Wait for my wife to show up. Uh, I'm gonna file my flight plan. I'm gonna file direct, we'll see what happens. And then um, we'll pick you back up on the flip side. Okay, we're back taxiing on 2-7. I've got very special cargo. This is my lovely wife, Tracy. Um, I did, what's that? Where do I say hi? Uh, either camera, I got all sorts of cameras here. This one won't see you, but you can just, this one's 360, so I can do any of you I want. It goes to literally 360 degrees. It's Hi, cur everyone. <laughs> We're going to make Tracy do some radio calls today. Linden traffic, Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie, departing 27 straight out, Linden. All right, we'll do a little bit of a short field here, make sure everything's good. This runway is a little bumpy, so we kind of do a little bit of a wheelie on it. Very bumpy. Uh, 
they're going to pave it soon? Yeah, he said they're going to, they got funding to pave it, so we'll see. There's 90 knots, we're out of runway, let's go flaps up. That shimmy is the nose wheel, don't worry about that. I must have hit that, we're a little bit lower on power there. All right, 400 feet. We're gonna queue up. 600. There's caps is available. Our parachute's available at 600 feet. Yaw damper's on. All right, we'll see what they tell us. Great Lakes Approach, Sirius 524, Charlie, Charlie. Sirius 524, Charlie, Charlie, Great Lakes Approach, go ahead. Uh, just departed 9 Gulf 2, um, we're at 2,000 feet. I've got an IFR flight plan to Lima Hotel, Quebec. Sirius 524, Charlie, Charlie, Roger, maintain VFR, squawk 7427. 7427, we'll maintain VFR, 524, Charlie, Charlie. Sirius 524, Charlie, Charlie, radar contact three miles west of the London Prices Airport, Flint Altimeter 3038, the altitude. 3038, passing 2600. He's just got to work with Detroit to see if he's going to, where they want to put me through there. 524, Charlie, Charlie, uh, you're clear to the Lima Hotel Quebec Airport via direct, climb maintain 5,000. All right, clear direct, Lima Hotel Quebec, uh, 5,000, 524, Charlie, Charlie. Sweet. 524, Charlie, Charlie, rear back is correct. Sweet, they gave it to me. Clear in 5800, Mike, turn left heading 150. All right, 5,000 direct, let's go nav mode, autopilot on, flight level change. Quebec Airport is safe. And we'll climb at 120. Great runner 16 Great Lakes approach. Easy. So, it wasn't a problem. All right, let's go to our climb checklist. Whoop. Approach, switch that to 16 Quebec, airport is fine. 16 They're probably going to put me on 32, 35 next. There's 524, Charlie, Charlie, verify your your heading is, your destination's a 070 heading. No, I'm sorry if I said that it's 170. Roger. I thought I said 170. Approach zero seven zero. I did say 070 originally? Oh shit, that's my mistake. <laughs> so he's going to be like, it's oh, what do you say? You verified it, you were like 070. Oh my god, yeah, that's my mistake. He's going to be like, wait a second, that's not going to work. <laughs> Watch. He's going to say. Lakes approach, twin Cessna, six eight. Because the zero seven zero would be this way. Twin Cessna, six two six eight Quebec. Sorry, I was off my corner. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah we, we got a while. I would be surprised if he says, twin. yeah, twin Cessna, we're not going to be able to do that. Service, 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 we'll see though. Have a good day. Thanks a lot. You too. Bye. There's five two four Charlie Charlie. Contact Detroit approach one three two point three five. Thirty two thirty five. We'll see. You. He's like, you're Detroit's problem now. <laughs> uh Just lean this engine out real quick. All right. Detroit Approach, good morning. Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie, we're at 5,000, direct destination. Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie, Detroit Approach, Metro Altimeter 3038. 38. All right, well, it might not be a problem. Again, because they're landing to the south, this, it probably isn't a problem. If they had departures coming in this way that were lower, he probably couldn't send me through the departure corridor. Uh, but because they're coming in this way, they're way above me right now, and when they're taking off, they're going to be above me too. So it should be okay. We'd like the visual for 27 left, Jet Cherry 40. And we we got a little bit of a headwind, so it's going to be one hour and ten minutes. Your flaps are up. Yeah, my flaps are up. Thanks for. <laughs> doing the checklist for me. Flaps are up, mixture is leaning. So when we pull the power back, we're at 67% power. We put this little arrow 
at the top of this green arc. You see how there's a break in this arc, this green line? Yeah. We, we want to put it right at the top of that green line. That's what they call lean of peak, meaning that you're burning the, the least amount of fuel, um, the, the mixture of fuel and air in the engine is um, the most, uh, the leanest it can be to keep the temperatures under control and everything like that. Um, so that's what we say, it says lean as required for altitude. As you go higher, you can lean that out even further. Charlie, Charlie, contact approach, 118.95. 18.95. Detroit approach, Sierra 524, Charlie, Charlie, 5000. 524, Charlie, Charlie, Detroit approach, set up number to 3038. 38. 38. Um, engine parameters, everything's good and in the green. If we wanted some more details on that, we could go to our um, aircraft systems and our engine page. And we can see all the details of all the cylinders. And everything's nice and level in here. There's not like one that's crazy high. Um, temperatures are all, all really good. So we just monitor all that stuff. And then fuel pump is on boost. And that's it. That's a climb where you actually go right at where in the cruise now, really. So that's just going to be same kind of stuff. That's it. Real easy, right? And so what I'll do in a flight like this is I'll start prepping for the destination. Even though we're a, an hour out, might as well in my second, I've got two sets of radios here, right? So. This is COM1 and this is COM2. So in COM1, we're always switching, you know, where he's giving me the next one and the next one, you know how that goes. And then in COM2, what I'll do is I'll go to my flight plan, I'll go to my destination, I'll look at the information on the destination. In this screen, I can pull up that airport and it gives me all these tabs. Think of it like a book, and that's showing me the info of the airport, the frequencies. On there, I'm going to put in the weather for there in the active COM2, because as we get closer, I'll listen to the weather. And that's really all I need there because they don't have a ground controller. The weather there right now as of 13.53, which was only about 20 minutes ago, it was the wind was 160, so out of the south more or less at five knots. Visibility is 10 miles, clear of clouds, so good day. And the runway is 5,000 feet. Although I called them because there was a, what's called a NOTAM that said the runway was closed. Yeah. I actually called them on the way to the airport and said, hey, what's up with this NOTAM? And they said it was um, really because they shortened part of the runway. They took 800 feet out of the runway. And so, but the NOTAM was screwed up, they said. So, not that it was no big deal. He said, no, you're fine. So that's it. This is a pretty easy, straightforward flight. Nothing really crazy going on. I guess we'll stop recording until we get there because there's nothing really, unless you want to do the next radio call. You don't no. feel like that? No. All right, well, we'll just kill it and then we'll record on the descent because I only have, this battery's older and only has 50. Did you tell them where you were going? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I briefed oh, it when okay. we okay. left, Hocking oh. Hills. We're going to go do some hiking. Maybe I'll film a, a little bit um, on the trails. And Yeah, it's Lancaster. We'll zoom in here, which is just outside of Columbus. Hocking Hills is really down here. This is the closest big airport. There was this other airport, but there was no services there. So, so we got to have to, well, Lancaster's here in the town, and then we have to drive to, like, right here, which is about 20 minutes. The guy already sent me a picture of the rental there. It was funny. Um, he delivered it to the airport, so. Message, this is going to tell me. This is going to tell me that we're getting close to Detroit's airspace, but because I'm talking, I'm on an IFR flight plan, I can fly through this airspace. This, this blue airspace is called Bravo. It's big airspace. It's around big airports. Yeah. You can't just fly into it. If you're on an IFR flight plane, you can. Yeah. But if you're a VFR guy, yeah. you have to get a special Bravo clearance. They have to specifically say you are cleared into the Bravo. 
every other airspace, you just have to be talking to them. Like like when I took off out of, out of Linden, right? You can see that that sits right underneath Flint's airspace, but that's a Charlie. Okay. And as long as I'm talking to approach, I can fly into there, as long as we have two-way radio communication. And are all Charlies like that purple color and the um, problems are blue? Um, no, there's, yeah, I mean, yes, the Charlies are, are this purple on this map. The Deltas, which is Pontiac, is a blue dash. So okay. it goes, yeah. you know, you know, that's another controlled airport. Again, you have to be talking to them before you, you can't just enter. The, you can't just enter any airspace except for, like, Linden without talking to somebody. Bravos are just special because they actually have to clear you in, and you have to hear those words of, like, hey, you're cleared into the Bravo. Um, unless, again, you're on an IFR flight plan. IFR flight plan, you can fly through all of that, and um, you're good to go. All right, so I was just coaching Tracy on to do her uh, the next radio call. Should be getting a handoff to somebody here shortly. Cleveland approach, possibly. We'll see. We've got a about a nine knot headwind doing 157 knots over the ground. Burning 14 gallons an hour. CHTs are 322. EGTs are 1440. Only at 5,000 feet. Didn't want to get any higher because the winds were much stronger up higher, unfortunately. But we'll catch the tailwinds on the way back. I always say that, don't I? So when they... The next thing we're going to be listening for, we're listening for our tail number, 524 Charlie Charlie. He's going to tell us to switch. You're going to do the whole thing. He's going to tell us to switch to a new frequency. You're going to punch that frequency in here and hit the enter button will show up. And then you'll tell him you're going to switch. And then... So you, listen to what he says and put it in here. Yep. And then there will be a Yeah, and you don't button. need to do the one. He's going to say one. You don't need to do the one. So if he says 2654... He'll say 126.54 or 126.whatever. Um, so you just can type in, don't worry about the one. I mean, you could type in the one. It's not going to hurt anything, but you don't have to. It's always one. It's always one, yeah. So this system, just they, they just are always like trying to improve usability, so you don't need to do that. But you can still put it in if you, if you wanted to. And then you're going to enter that frequency in. You're going to say, okay, switching to... Um, you know, whatever the frequency. Then you hit this little button in between that flips you. See that? That flips it. And then you're going to queue up because now you're talking on the new frequency. You can see up here, it tells you that we're talking on to Toledo approach. Toledo class C um, approach is who we're, that's who we're tuned into right now, which is really nice. So whatever they give us next, um, we'll, will know even if, because sometimes they'll tell you the frequency and you're thinking so much about the frequency and you flip over, you're like, oh shit, who did he tell me I was talking to? That happens to me a lot. Um, and so you can just default and say approach or, you know, you can kind of cheat it. But this system's really nice because it tells you who you're talking to so you don't, you don't sound too stupid. And it's got a playback button. So if you missed it, if you hit this, it'll play the last watch. No, 66 Charlie, change your five, six, approve. And I can keep hitting that, and it'll it'll keep playing previous radio calls. It's like a little DVR. Wow. But the that come that's a problem in busy airspace because if they say something and you hit it, but then they talk again, it'll stop the playback because they want you to hear what's going on. So it's nice, but it sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's not nice. But the other day I was flying. And just to verify, like I heard him say turn 170, I turned 170, but I'm like, rather than queue back up, I'm like, let me make sure he did tell me 170. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have. We should be getting a handoff any second. What makes you say that? Um, just because I know Toledo, Toledo approach doesn't cover a huge big area. I mean, you can see their airspace right here is their airspace. So they probably go another 15, 20 miles outside that. We're almost, uh, 220 contact we're almost 15 miles outside of it. Contact Detroit so he'll probably pass us to either 
Cleveland Center, Cleveland Approach. Now where do you, oh right here, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, Cleveland Center. I think we're too low for center. I don't know where the center, I don't know where approach, in this area where approach stops and center begins. So you've got ground controllers, they're on the ground. You've got tower controllers there, getting planes landing and taking off. Then you've got approach and departure, which is really the same person. And then you've got uh, center controllers. So center controllers take big swaths of area, but they, um, but they usually take uh, transit traffic that's higher. And so as you're getting closer to the airport, they'll pass you to an approach controller because you're approaching an airport, and then they'll pass you to the tower, and then the tower passes you to the ground. Some areas, in rural areas, though, center goes center goes right to the ground. Like up north in the UP, you talk to Minneapolis Center all the way to the ground because they just don't have approach controllers out there. It's That's usually reserved for bigger, busier airspaces. But it all tiers up, ground, tower, Approach, uh, uh, departure, five, one, and then center. Five, one, but again, five, it be ground, two, approach, center? Gra no, ground, think about it. Ground yeah. is controlling you on the ground. Yep. Then the tower controls you to take off and land. And then the approach or departure, so you take off from it. Tower says you're clear for takeoff. Then, con then contact departure because you're departing. But approach and departure are really the same person. They're just called different things. I mean, they're, okay, I shouldn't say they're always the same person. Mostly the same person. But they're just called departure when you're departing and approach when you're approaching. But they funnel people to the airport and then they pass them off to the tower. You know, they'll say, hey, you know, um, like Pontiac's a perfect example because they're a Delta. I'm talking to Detroit Approach. And then they'll say, okay, go ahead and contact tower now. And that's usually within like you know, four miles or something like that. It's usually pretty close. And then Tower is responsible for getting me on the ground. That kind of makes sense. So it's just this tier up, tier down. But, but again, some places, um, the center goes, rural areas, the center goes all the way to the ground. They don't have approach control. You getting hot? Yeah. Ten thirty three radar contact five miles east of the Finley uh, airport. So you had three thousand two hundred feet. Can you hear him just fine? Yeah. Toledo approach control, TBM seven hundred Victor Victor's with you, uh, three point seven for five thousand. Yeah, actually just turned on the air conditioning because it was actually getting a little warm. Calm Toledo approach us again. TBM 700, Victor Victor calling Toledo. We have an IFR, or just departed uh, 1 6 Golf, and we have an IFR on So this guy's doing just what I did. He departed a small airport. He called up the approach controller and said, Hey, I'm in the air. I filed a flight plan. Can you activate it? And he's basically setting him up to do that. Victor Victor, thanks. Number 61842, disregard. The anticipation. And make sure your mic's real, real, approach, really close. Helicopter Charlie Golf Echo Papa with you with information, Victor. Helicopter standby, main clear to class, Charlie. Main clear to class, Charlie, standby. Okay, so there, there's a good example. He was flying and he called that guy. And in this situation, he told him to, to stay clear of the Charlie airspace. Like, I can't have you in there right now for whatever reason. So, Victor, Victor, radar contact. that's good to know, uh, too. Sometimes when you call uh, up, it's, it, you can't just enter, because uh, he's going to tell you not to. County Airport, you clear to the 7, number uh, 524, Charlie, Charlie, contact at Cleveland, approach 128.35, good day. Say 2835. Cleveland Center, TBM Wait 700, for this. Victor, Victor's with you, 5 for 8. Number 0, Victor, Victor, you contact good at Cleveland Center, uh, 135.1. Okay, go ahead and queue up. Say 20, 2835, Sue. 2835, yeah. <laughs> so wait for a break and say Cleveland Approach, November 524, Charlie, Charlie. What? You got to wait for a break. I'm just coaching you. He's not, it's, there's not a rush to do it. So just say Cleveland Approach, November 524, Charlie, Charlie, 5,000. Just wait for a break to do it.
Number Charlie Charlie. 524 Charlie Charlie, oh, yeah. 5000. I gotta say all that? Say Cleveland Approach. Okay. 524 Charlie Charlie, yep. that's you. Yep. 5000. And that's Dear it. Bob, that's yep, and wait for a break to do it though. Miles, southeast on 3300. Go ahead. That's the good side, you're above the ball. Cleveland Center, 524 Charlie Charlie, 5000. 524 uh, Charlie Charlie, Cleveland Approach, Alpha 3038. 3038. 3038. Good job. Good job. Is it? Can I say good day? <laughs> no, you're not leaving them. <laughs> I wanted Can to. I say good day? You could have said good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was throwing all that at you. It's okay. It, 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 it We went from this to like. I did the frequency for you. Oh. He got busy on the frequency. Um. One thing, just not just because no, you do, I, don't yeah. do this, yeah. like waiting for a break in the action or waiting when it's appropriate to talk on the radios is just a nuanced thing. Because, hotel, because so, what you have to be aware of is if he's talking to somebody that you know is going to respond right away, you want to give that a second. Because if he says, like he called to a guy, a traffic advisor, like, hey, there's a guy at 12 o'clock, you know, this. You, as a pilot, you know he's going to say, okay, I'm looking for traffic. So you want to kind of wait for that whole exchange to be done before you queue up. Sometimes in super busy airspace, it's really hard. It just is. Um, yeah, I always thought that there was some sense of urgency to, like, respond right away. Not, not in radio changes. It's really important to respond really quick for, like, direct, um, uh, like, turn to a heading, like, Hey, I need you to avoid traffic. Turn to heading 170. Yeah. That, that, it's like, hey, 170. He needs to know you're acknowledging it and doing it. Uh, those are important. Radio switches are, like, the least important. And especially when you switch over, like, he knows you're coming. There's, like, a built-in buffer. Like, the one thing that you, like, you don't ever want to do, switch it and automatically queue up. Like, wait for a second to see what's going on on frequency and then change over to uh, or then then check in like be aware of what's going on don't just switch the frequency queue up automatically because there could have been a conversation that was going on or like wait a second it's it's not super urgent to check in you know you've got probably 10 miles before he'll he'll might even ch say hey five to four charlie charlie you up with me you know it's not a huge sense of urgency it's basically he's we're on his radar he knows we're coming there's nothing, you don't want in a straight line, it's fine. Um, so you just want to be courteous and kind of read the room, figure out what's going on. Like I'm always thinking about situationally what's happening in the space that I'm in. Like, okay, he's working this guy over here for approach or he's doing this. Um, you can kind of build a mental picture of what's going on um, and, and just work with them. Don't be a, don't be a heel, but good job. Maintain your thoughts with 2500 and get through like the ILS 9928. Start check 19, turn right, direct Jonix. He's pretty busy today. Serving 2022, direct Redbub, Indy Center 12445. Alright, 200 feet to go. Direct Redbub, serving 2022. Got our descent checklist. Landing light like boost pump. Make sure now. we'll do that once we get right, a little bit closer. And, uh, we have an insight, one after Tango. One after Tango, clear vision, push 9 right in the state, contact state tower, have a great day. Alright, clear for the visual and over the tower. One at tango. November 6, Papa Whiskey, contact Indy Center 124.45. Over to Indy Center, 124.45, 6 Papa Whiskey. Sky condition clear. Temperature 2.3 Celsius. 2.09 Celsius. Altimeter 3036. For marks, density altitude 1600. Fairfield County Airport. Charlie 14, flying at 210, maintain BFR 3500. 210, maintain BFR at 3500. Alright, we've got the weather. November 6th, Lima, contact Columbus Approach 134.45. 13445, 416, Lima. Yeah, on the ground or about. November 4, Charlie Charlie, clear direct Lancaster, survive in sight. Direct Lancaster, Wallace Chanel 524, Charlie Charlie.
He wants me to cancel as soon as I can. He's like, let me know when you got the airport. Get off my list of things to do. <laughs> we'll give him a cancellation as soon as we can. I looked I did I looked at videos online with this how I usually do to see if there's any landmarks. There wasn't really anything that stood out. So but we're getting close to about ten miles out. The airport runs this way, so we're kinda heading right at it. And so it'll be this way. And the way the winds are, we're gonna go and we're gonna make a turn this way, that way, and that way, and land going basically on, on this runway. Just sort of visual. You can see where we're pointing right here. So we're going to fly down here, and we're going to go like this. I'm pretty sure that's it. It looks like i got some hangars out there. we got one traffic guy here. We'll go ahead and uh, give it another second here. Uh, destination elevation is 860. 868, so traffic pattern is right, right around 2,000, a little less, 1,900. We're going to be left traffic for this one. Our Fort Charlie Charlie Lancaster, 12 o'clock and about 10 miles. Yeah, if we've got the field, we can go ahead and cancel uh, IFR. Fort Charlie Charlie IFR, can't say you received squawk VFR, change advisor, free and have a good day. Thanks, you too. Charlotte 6, planning a 3-1. Yeah, he wanted me off there. <laughs> He's like, it's it's 10 miles. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm pretty sure that's it. I just hit that camera again. That's okay. He didn't do anything to it. Fairfield County, Sears 524, Charlie Charlie, 10 miles to the north. Inbound full stop will be uh, entry the left downwind for 1 0, Lancaster, or Fairfield. Fairfield. It's in the city of Lancaster. Oh, yeah, I got the field now, for sure. We're going to disconnect the autopilot. Let's go. Let our temperatures cool down here a little bit. Landing light on, boost pump on, brakes feel good. Can you see the runway right now? Or no? Altitude. Yep, that's okay. We're going to bug this for 19. Whoop, for 1900. I'm looking for blacktop. It's never concrete, right? Oh, it could be concrete, but this one's blacktop. I mean, we're pointed right at it. There's some rows of yeah, hangers. Yeah, I see it. Yep, and the runway's kind of going that way. You can see the end of the runway. So we're going to fly down this way. We've got a guy right there. He must have just departed there. Fairfield County, 512 Kilo, five miles northeast of the field, entering um, the downwind of zero Fairfield County. Fairfield County, uh, 524 Charlie Charlie, we're about two and a half miles from the downwind to uh, traffic inbound, do you see us? Yeah, but we're looking. Yeah, we're northeast as well. We'll be uh, entering the left downwind for one zero. We'll follow you in. Thanks. So here, where there's no tower, we're just working together with the other pilots. So I just heard him call. I see him on my ADSB. And we're, bu he's just behind us. Got to get down a little bit. Look at that thing over there. It looks like a... It's a blimp? Yeah. That's yeah, cool. Never seen one of those before in the air. Yeah, that's wild. Fairfield County, Sears 524, Charlie Charlie, entering the downwind for 1 0, full stop. Fairfield.
They don't know why they don't want you to do left traffic on 2-8. I don't see anything over there, but... Green County traffic, we're 8408. Yeah, that's really uh, cool. Five miles to the north uh, east, 45 to the downwind for runway 7 in Greenfield. What the heck do they use blimps for? Um, sporting events, they're filming from them. Fairfield County, Sears 524, Charlie Charlie, turning base, 1 0 full stop, Fairfield. Fairfield County, 512 Kilo, entering uh, left down, 1 1 0, Fairfield County. Altitude. Yeah, I gotta lose some altitude here, I'm kinda high. High and tight. That's alright, we can dump in our. Pull our power, it'll sink pretty good. Five hundred. Fairfield County, Sears 524, Charlie Charlie, short final, one zero, full stop. See those two white lights? Yeah. That means I'm too high. Oh. So white and red means I'm right on slope. I kind of dove that around. There we go. See, now it's right on the right glide path. The great thing about this plane is even if you're a little high, you pull the power, it, it, it drops. Perfection. Get on the brakes here for this guy behind us. Fairfield County, Sears 524, Charlie, Charlie, we are cleared the active. Over to the ramp. Fairfield County, 512, Kilo, turning left base 10. So their guy's coming in behind us. He's just on that base turn. You see him up there in the sky? Yeah. Did that blimp show up on your thing? Oh, he should. Yeah, I feel like that's him right there, that 1,200 feet. I mean, he's only at 1,200 feet, which yeah. would make sense. Cool little airport here. We got a little viewing, little picnic area. Fairfield County, 512 Kilo, turning. Looks like Arnold, they might even have a little restaurant. Fairfield County. Yeah. Something. Go park next to this guy over here. Get too close. Pretty close. We're good. We hit you. 